Only 1% of adults make over $100,000 a year. But as a teenager watching this, I know you want to make way more. Yes, yes I do, yes I do. So what do you actually need to do in order to get to that level? Well, instead of me telling you to just set goals or be more disciplined, I'm going to give you five things that will really set you apart from the 99%. Starting off with the fact that you don't need to work hard. What? I'm not lying, bro. You've always been told that hard work directly correlates to making more money. They teach us in school, they teach us in courses, but that's completely wrong. By that definition, that would mean that Elon Musk is the hardest working person and puts in the most hours, which just isn't true. It's not about how hard you work, it's about how much leverage you have. It's all about putting the right people in the right places. And that's what separates the people who are the big bosses from the employees. If you're someone who knows how to leverage other people's skills to your advantage, you're going to make a lot of money. For example, if I was to start a YouTube channel and had no idea how to edit, but knew how to go viral on YouTube, I would therefore go ahead and hire an editor to do the job for me. I've now put the best person in the best position to get the job done. And that's what a lot of people don't seem to understand. You think that if you sit down on your computer for 10, 15 hours a day, you're magically going to start making a lot of money. But Alex Hormozzi made a really good point about this, where he said, you need to have a lot of leverage at whatever you're doing, which means that if you put the right people in the right places in your business, your job now is to really focus on the important, which is what's going to take your business from A to B. This is what all the billionaires really know how to do. And that's what separates them from the other 99% of people. See, chances are most of you watching this video haven't made more money than Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates, but there's a pretty high chance that some of you are actually working way more hours a day than they are. And that's because they have CEOs, managers, assistants in place to really do the nitty gritty of things whilst they only focus on the high level. Now, this doesn't mean that you shouldn't work hard. You definitely have to at the beginning in order to learn and get better at your business. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of hours that you're probably putting into your work, which is useless that you could delegate to someone else for really cheap. It's hard to find people and to master this skill. But once you do, you're probably going to see your business skyrocket to another level. So next time you hear someone telling you to work 15, 18 hours a day, take that with a grain of salt and understand that that's easy to say to people. But in reality, the smart thing to do is be efficient with your time and use it smartly. So if you want to get as rich as people like Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, you need to start ripping these motivational pictures that you hang up on your wall. Let me just get the last one. And that's because you need to write down a list of everything that would absolutely destroy your life. For example, getting fat, not working hard, sleeping all day and hang that in a visible place. You're now going to make it your mission to do the exact opposite of that list every single day. The way I like to call it is called an anti-vision board. This is where you set up just a list of everything that you don't want to do and do the exact opposite. Now, this might seem pretty simple, but this is going to ingrain in your brain exactly what you need to do in order to start succeeding. Because if you're doing the exact opposite of the bad things on a day-to-day -day basis, then you're working towards good. And that's exactly what you need to be aiming for. On my whiteboard down there, I actually have a list of everything that would destroy my life. And every day when I wake up, I look at it as a reminder to know that, damn, let, let me just avoid that today and, and keep on the right track. This is going to be subconscious in your mind, but I can almost guarantee that it will benefit you a ton. And the fact that most of you are teenagers watching this means that we adapt to things much quicker than adults do because we're still developing. So if we ingrain something in our brains from this age, by the time we're in our 20s and 30s, we'll be so overpowered in here that no one will be able to compete. Go ahead and try this for one to two weeks. And I really think that you guys are going to start to see results. I've been doing this now for like a year and the results have been insane. I've scaled a business to over six figures a month, started a software company that's also at six figures a month. And this is all because I did the exact opposite of what was going to destroy my life. And one of the things that I wrote down on my whiteboard was the fact that I was going to be really fat and eat unhealthy. So that just made my brain go into wire mode and start doing push-ups and working out. Oh, f and for the third and arguably one of the most important steps is to ask more questions than you answer. You might have never thought of it like this, but there's a ton of value that you can receive from pretty much anyone. If I were to go to Walmart today, dap up the manager and ask him some questions, there's a ton I could learn. That guy literally manages like two or 300 employees all in one store. If I implemented his systems into my business, that would drastically improve the way my employees are organized and how efficiently they operate. And there's instances like this in many different businesses. You just need to go in 
in every situation wanting to ask more questions because there's so much that you can learn. I do this and I'm sure as a 16 year old kid, people kind of get fed up of it, but it's what you have to do to get to the next level. These billionaires definitely did the exact same thing when they started. So you don't even need to take my word for it. Every time you meet someone, just simply drop the ego, think you're stupid, even if you're not, and just go and ask them things that you think would apply to your business. You're gonna learn 10 times faster this way because you're not always gonna be the one answering questions. You're gonna be the one gaining all the knowledge, which is gonna give you that edge over any of your competitors. So get to work, buddy. But as we creep into the end of this list, things are gonna start getting important. So listen up. The fourth point you need to understand is that you are always wrong. Even if it's not your fault, think to yourself that it is. And the reason for that is because you're gonna have no one to blame except yourself for any issue that happens in your life, even if it's not you. For example, if someone messes up in my business, I need to know that that was my fault because I could have trained them or taught them something to prevent that issue, even if they're the one who did it. This way of thinking is gonna make you think like a boss which will in turn make you more strict with yourself so that you can manage your employees, be more effective, and in the end, not have as many issues come up. This is how the big dogs think. And I'm not saying this because I think it, I've asked all of these people. I have friends who are 19 years old and make over $10 million a year. And when I have conversations with them, every time I whine about a problem that was not my fault, they always tell me that it was, and I'm the one to blame, and I'm the one who should fix myself. And that's just ingrained into my brain that, damn bro, maybe I am the one that is responsible for everything that goes wrong. This now helps me scale my business and it should for you too. So next time something goes wrong in your business and it wasn't necessarily you that caused it, put all the blame on yourself and think very deeply on how you could have improved it. It's kind of harsh, but it needs to be done for you to get to the next level and really hit that 1%. You know I love you. And for the last and most important step, that is to be patient. But that's not in the basic way that everyone tells you to be. People usually overestimate what they can do in 10 years and underestimate what they can do in a year. But because, you know, we like to make our money quickly, I'm gonna shorten this down to a three month and six month time span. In three months, you probably think I'm gonna make a million dollars, I can make 100K, 10K a month, but in six months, that's so far away, you don't even wanna think about that. And the way you need to reprogram your brain is to think more long-term. Things like business really exponentially grows over time. Month one, you might have a sleeper. Month two, maybe you're making a couple bucks and then month three, four, five, that goes from being like this to like that. It's not really steady growth ever unless you're super lucky. So you need to really think of a six or seven month time span when thinking about starting your business and don't expect to become rich quick. This stuff requires really hard work. You're not just gonna go and find a new untapped method and make 10 grand a month. Every single business model works for someone and there is none that is perfect for everyone. It's just about finding what you're interested in, sitting down, locking in, working smart, and eventually you're gonna hit those goals. And I don't even wanna call them goals. You're gonna hit those milestones. The way I think of myself is I'm already worth $100 million. I just need to catch up to myself. That's how I was thinking when I was 10 and 11 years old and I was patient. I knew I was gonna be a millionaire. There's actually pictures of my yearbook where I said I was gonna have a Lamborghini, I was gonna be a YouTuber, all this stuff. And at that time, when I was 10 or 11 years old, I obviously was a little jay. I didn't have any of that. But I knew I was gonna catch up eventually and that's what I've done now. So just think Think of yourself as that already successful person. Give yourself time and let yourself catch up with who you wanna be and it's gonna happen. Now, you have all the untapped methods to do well. All you need to do now is take action, watch my videos, and you're chilling. You've now watched this video and know how to get ahead of 99% of teenagers. But what you need to find yourself is a business model. So watch this video right here because I just went over some of the best business models to get started with this year. I've done all of them, I've made money with all of them, and there's no reason you can either. So tap that button, bruv.